Hello, this is Danny from the DEG here. I'm here to show you a pretty cool trick regarding estimate sequence in CCC. When writing uh, an estimate, it's really um, nice to write an estimate in the proper order in which you're reading the estimate and looking at the vehicle. So typically when we see a vehicle, we see the outside of the vehicle first. And when we're working on the car, we tend to take it apart and then work our way inwards. This should be the same way that we write our repair plans, working from the outside in. The system was also designed and intended to be written in this format, but also allows you to write it in any format you want, because that's what the system allows you to do. So the way to make this a profile setting in a standard feature, so every time you open up an estimate, we can go to our Configure tab, we can go to our Profiles. When we open up our Shop Profile here, we can go to the Estimate Options. And we can go to default estimate sequence in which we can keep it as none or work our way from the front or go from the back to the front, front to the back. And again, none allows the user to input any part selection throughout the estimate in any order they wanted to. Or if you go front to back, back to front, it chronologically organizes the estimate based on the way that you're writing um, the repair plan from back to front, front to back. In this case, I'm going to leave it as none because there's another way you can write the, um, the estimate sequence at the estimate itself. So let's go to the estimate itself. And we're going to go to our estimate properties. And then we can see that we have estimate sequence from the drop down. None, we can keep it the same or front to back, back to front. You can only choose this before you actually write the estimate itself. What, if you're in the middle of an estimate, you cannot go back and change this setting. There's another reason why you would want to write the estimate from front to back and back to front, and I'll show you here why. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a couple lines on here, and we're going to refinish some parts, and I'll show you what's going to happen when we write it in the order from front to back. So we're going to start with the bumper cover. We're going to add the hood to refinish. And we're going to go to our fenders. We're going to refinish one side. And we're going to blend the other side. So you can see here, we have a total of four parts we're, we're painting. Bumper, hood, fender, and blending the opposite fender. When we go to our totals, we're going to see we have a total of 9.8 refinish hours. Let's see what happens when we write from the inside out method. I'm going to open up a second screen and we're going to write the estimate in the same order but backwards. So we're going to blend the left fender, refinish the right one, refinish the hood, and we're going to refinish the bumper. You can see we have the same four parts and we have the same blend operation for the left fender. When we go to our totals, we're going to see a difference of minus 0.2 hours, bringing this to 9.6 hours. As you can see, when you write from the front to the back, the system is designed to consider all the adjacent panels and overlap deductions as intended. When you're writing from the inside out, it's taking a different calculation based on the first major panel and the first adjacent panel and then adjusting that based on the labor times in the sequence in which you are adding it. So you can see the importance of why you would want to work your way from the outside in. We've also found that this could happen when doing body panel replacements. Not all vehicles but it could be an issue in the database. So it's really important to always reference your H notes for correct overlap and deductions for adjacent panels if you feel something is off. When you run across these situations, please visit our website, www.degweb.org, and submit an inquiry. We'll work with the information provider and get that resolution fixed so that way it doesn't occur in the future for that file. Thank you and have a great day.